Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today for you, I figured I would do a quick little uh, EDC for police or uh, law enforcement. Um, this is kind of what I carry on a daily basis now. I don't always carry all of this uh, with me. I swap things in and out. There are all other things I carry, but in general, um, I have a few basic essentials on me at all times. Um, and I figured I would go over that with you and let you guys know some of the other things that I do keep uh, usually either, you know, with me in the car or, you know, other places or things like that. Um, so let's get started. All right. My first item, guys, that I definitely always essentially am going to have is going to be a uh, firearm. Um, this is going to be a Glock 19 in a 9mm. Uh, I do have another magazine that I usually carry in it. Um, it has the, uh, the Pierce extension, so it gives me that extra two rounds in it. Um, so basically, you know, this is a 15 round mag anyway in this, um, so with that, it actually will hold, uh, 17 rounds with, uh, federal law enforcement ammo in it. Um, I forget who makes this holster. I actually just got this a few days ago, um, at the Harrisburg Outdoor Show. Uh, it was actually really neat because this was custom made. This was just a flat piece and they molded this, uh, specifically to the gun. Got a decent retention on it. Um, and this one right here, you see guys, this is going to be the, in the, an IWB in the waistband. Um, so this actually will go inside your pants. This clips onto your belt. Um, and this is totally going to be pretty much, uh, concealable. The other holster I actually picked up is the same one from the same company, uh, which is this one here. And this is actually an external, uh, you can see, this is really cool to see how they made these actually. Um, and, uh, this one's external. So I actually picked up both of them, um, depending on where I am or, you know, my preference that day of where I want to carry or if it's summer or not. Um, something like this is actually a lot easier to carry uh, when you don't have a jacket on or anything like that. Um, so basically 9mm is my preference for off-duty carry because it has a higher magazine capacity. Um, on occasion, I will put a, a, another um, mag on. I have a, another mag pouch. Um, so once in a while I'll carry the extra mag. I do not always carry this because um, I really don't really have a need to. Um, but once, once in a while, I will actually have the extra magazine with me as well. Um, so just depends on where I'm going, what I'm doing, location, things like that. But usually in the car, in my truck, I have a go bag and I will have a bunch of extra magazines and ammunition um, in it. Okay, guys, so next item, always have it on me, is going to be a pocket knife, guys. This, um, which I'm actually going to do a video on next, is a Benchmade AFO 2. Um, now this I just picked up at the show as well. It's a pretty expensive knife. Um, this is in fact though a law enforcement restricted item. Um, it is an auto. This is a great knife. It's really really sharp and um, they did free engraving actually on it. So I got the Punisher skull on it. Really really awesome awesome knife. I had the Presidio before so it's very similar to this one. I was debating between a couple uh, autos but I ended up going with this one because I like the feel of it. It reminds me of my Presidio. And uh, they're just a really great knife. It's really, really sturdy, uh, and I really, really liked it. Um, this is something you always need to have, uh, you know, for rescue every day, cutting anything you need to, you know, use with it in law enforcement. This is also the knife I carry on duty. Um, so it's a great, great, great knife, and I really, really like it. Okay, my next one, essential, always have it on me, is going to be a wallet. This here is just going to be your, uh, as a strong uh, by Boston Leather, I believe, company. This is going to be a badge wallet. Um, so I keep my badge in here and my police credentials and everything um, to always have them with me. Uh, the wallet's a little bit bigger than, you know, your standard wallet, a little thicker, um, you know, with the badge in it and everything. I try to keep minimal things in there that I need. Um, so that way it's not a huge bulky item, but it's always important to have your credentials and all that stuff with you. So I always, um, you know, will keep that on me at all times, no matter where I am. Um, you know, I have my concealed carry in there and everything as well. Um, like I said, police ID, police badge, all that stuff. So definitely important to have that stuff with you. Handcuffs. I don't always have handcuffs on me. Um, in fact, I rarely ever do, but I'll always keep these in the vehicle, have a pair accessible once in a while. Um, if I'm off duty doing something and I'm going somewhere that might pertain to work or whatever, or going to courses or something like that, then I will throw these handcuffs on as well with my badge. Uh, and most of the time I'll carry that externally. I'll put these on a holster on the belt as long as, as, long as my uh, badge is out as well on the belt. Um, so I don't always carry these around, rarely, but if I'm going to a course or anything like that, they are something that you do want to carry when you're identifying yourself as a law enforcement officer. Okay guys, next up here we have a power bank. Um, I don't always carry these, but they are always in the car where I have them accessible or in my daughter's diaper bag. This is great um, for 
charging your phone or charging any device, but mostly your phone. If, if you ever had a, a situation, um, you know, where your, your phone battery started dying, you need to get some juice in it, you get an emergency, you get stuck somewhere and there's nowhere to plug your phone in or anything. This is great because this will power your phone. This will, these give you around one charge. I want to say, um, they're not super, super powerful, I believe it, but they will they will get you a charge and they will get done what you need to get done in an emergency situation. If you lower your, you know, your brightness on your phone, it'll, it'll help it last longer. Um, but these are great to have just in any emergency situation if you needed to have, um, you know, a battery backup. Which brings me to the other item, which I didn't show because I, but I keep this in the vehicle as well. I just picked this up. You're also going to be seeing a video review on this, guys. Um, this is actually a really awesome item. Uh, I just got this off of Amazon. It's actually a battery bank here. This will charge the phones. I believe it's like around three times or something like that. And uh, it's really powerful. And it's also solar powered, which is really, really cool. So you could actually charge your phone from just the sun. Um, and it's also got a flashlight on the back. So this is something I usually keep in the truck uh, in my little go bag as well when I'm out. But I don't carry this obviously because it's gigantic. But it's definitely something I always have uh, readily available. Uh, next guys, this is pretty self-explanatory. I usually always have this some chapstick. It's winter You know your lips get really chapped or if you have to be outside in the wind It's you know, this really helps out. It's got SPF in it as well. It's from Jack Black. You guys know I like them um, So this is just a great item to always have Next guys are gonna be a pen here. Uh, my favorite pen is actually gonna be it's the zebra uh, F301 it's the bold point 1.6 uh, Millimeters here. This is great. I love this pen for writing citations. It's got a really really smooth point writes them out really good, helps get through all those different layers. Um, and I just like writing with this pen. This is my favorite pen. So this is what I usually will always carry. And then last but not least, I know we always have flashlights usually on your cell phone, but that also drains your battery a lot. And you know, you can't, it's not as good as a regular flashlight. Um, this was, this is a 511. I actually think I got this um, with something I ordered from them or whatever. This is the TMT. It's a pretty, uh, pretty decently, it runs off of a uh, AAA. Now I haven't, Put a new battery in a while my daughter was running around playing with it so it's not as bright as it could be um probably should change that out but it is a nice little light it's very thin it's almost like a pen um and this could actually stick in your pocket it's got a little clip on it so it's definitely something good to have if you're out at night or you know anywhere like that you have a flashlight um and guys last um definitely probably your most essential item <laughs> is going to be your phone which i'm actually recording this with but it is an iphone uh, 7 plus i always have my phone i have it in a good hard case um, that's also an essential everyday item that I always have. Obviously, you know, you need that for everything. You can take pictures with it, make phone calls. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you use your phone for everybody has them. Um, so, guys, that's uh, my EDC. Um, like I said, I do swap a lot of things in and out once in a while. Um, but this is these are the basics that I do carry a lot. Um, you know, I have uh, a daughter as well, so I'm always carrying a diaper bag. So I have, you know, all, all her things as well. Um, so, you know, being prepared is always good. So this is what, you know, I carry on my person so um anyway uh, if you guys have any comments or anything that you guys carry differently let me know um oh one other big thing i always have i don't know where they are they're around somewhere but i always have my keys um you know keys in my truck and uh key to my house um and also on my keys i have a uh emergency little tool there that's actually a screwdriver it's really it's actually flat it's a screwdriver a bottle opener it can be used as a wrench uh, things like that and I also got a handcuff key on there uh, just in case you know something ever happened and someone ever handcuffed you to something I got a key and I'd be able to uh, you know get out of it basically so uh, that's something else that I also have for EDC and the last item I wanted to show you guys uh, for my EDC is actually going to be my belt, which you're gonna see a review on coming up right after this. It's by a company called Core, and this is a this is genuine reinforced leather. This is an awesome belt. Um, this is actually a carry belt, specifically for carrying. I was actually in the process of looking for one. They contacted me, they asked me to make a video on it um, and, and review it, and I've actually been reviewing it for the past couple weeks and wearing it, and I fell in love with it. Uh, they let me choose any belts off their website and any buckle. Um, they have dress belts, they have all sorts of other belts, but this one is specifically a carry belt. Um, and what makes this different from other belt, the other belt that I wear that you guys uh, probably seen my video on uh, from Anson, is that this is specifically for it. This is a hard platform belt. This is solid, like I'm pressing this. This is a solid, solid belt. It's an excellent platform for carrying your firearm on. Uh, I was using my Anson belt for it, and uh, the belt actually got, one of them actually got ruined from it. 
and they were just so, their dress belts, you know, they're not meant to have anything on them and they were just so flimsy that my firearm was falling all over the place. Uh, I couldn't keep it, you know, secure and I really didn't like that. Um, this also has that track lock system on it. I don't know if you guys can see that here. So, you know, it is the same thing. It's that micro adjust and this belt is just awesome. I highly recommend them. You can see what it micro adjusts to exactly how you need it. Uh, so definitely go on their website and check them out, guys. Check out the video on them. If you guys are looking for a concealed carry belt, this thing is fantastic. And it still looks good, and I've been wearing it every single day. Um, and I've actually been trying to be pretty tough on it to see how well it lasts. And it there's not a, a mark on it. It's a great belt, guys. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And as always, like and subscribe.